All right, here we are. We are back in the comfort of the hot tub and we are back to do another Universal Yums box. I'm joined here today by Venus and Tim and we're gonna, gonna take a virtual trip to another country and try some of the snacks. Uh, we're not affiliated with Universal Yums other than the fact that we give them money, they give us the box and then we, uh, they, we do it for you online here. So we're gonna open it up, try some of the snacks, show you what's inside and then uh, give, our, give our opinion. Let's see, where right. are we going this month? We're doing Germany! Guten Tag! There we are. <laughs> and some of the cities in Germany are Frankfurt, Launau, Launau. Oh, now you're in trouble. Hanstead, Halle, Bavaria, Schwango. If anybody like knows how to pronounce them correctly, please let us know. That sounds like <laughs> African nations or something. But yeah. anyway, you open up the box and it has this cool little, little sheet that tells you a little bit about the country as well as a place on the back where you can uh, you can kind of look and, and write down notes about your favorite snack or your least favorite snack. All right, moving along. It even has some German phrases. Oh, you could have done that. Oh, here we go. Here's one. Es schmeckt schlecht. You know what that means? Let's eat the yum box. Yay. No, does it really? No, it doesn't mean oh. that. <laughs> actually, like, really? actually, you might want to remember that one though. Es schmeckt, sch or schmeckt schlecht. That means it tastes bad. Oh, God. And it, it's great. You say Prost. 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 Okay. Now, lecker. This one looks French. S is so la la. What's that mean? It's so so. Oh, it's so so. It's so so. La la. All right. All right. So, and then also in the same package, you get this handy little book, which uh, will show up here. And then uh, it, it has information about the country as well. It has information about the snacks as well as nutrition information. And then a cool little uh, trivia game that, that you can try, a little trivia train if you want to play on that. And then most importantly, the stickers. It has the stickers, which is Venus's favorite part of the whole dang box. Oh, well, it's got I a think, sticker so. up the flag. It's got a sticker. It says trivia star. I guess if you're really and a if giant you win nose, star, if you there's win a giant trivia. nose and oh, it's God. being picked What's that or say? something. Too picky. Ew. Too picky. <laughs> That's gross. And then a flower. I wonder if that flower is their German flower. I don't know. Could be say a leftover sticker from and anywhere. And then the else. most wild and fearless taste. Oh, that was a, uh, th yeah, that's their, like their national bird. I don't remember what it was. It looks like an eagle. I'll tell you, but anyway, we'll go in the snack. So however so you want to start out and then we we'll read you a little bit about the snack and take our taste and yep. then and go from there. So I guess let Let me start. I'm going to go with this one. looks like onion rings. Onion, it actually is onion rings. So celebrate, celebrate the onion festival. Once October runs around, there's one particular festival on everyone's mind. You know what that is? You said October? Onion yeah. Fest? Oh, October Fest. Obviously October Fest, but no, it's not that one. No? Uh, actually, that happens in September, it says here. What, October Fest happens in September? October Fest, yeah. Oh, that's fine. Uh, uh, the Weimar Onion Festival comes all the way from 1653. So I don't know. Onion pie? Oh, these do look like, mm, what do they look like? Funyuns. Funyuns, yeah. Funyuns. I wonder Very if they taste though. like Funyuns. Yeah, they kind of taste like Funyuns. To me, I don't know. Thoughts? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll take another one of them. They're not bad at all. No, I think fungins are more airy. Hmm. Definitely get the onion. And, oh yeah, and and these are stronger taste onions than funyuns. Funyuns, hmm. They're good. They're good. You don't read or you want me to read? I can read. Okay. Which I one are you picking? This cigar looking thing. It's got up some chocolate of some sort. It says marzipan. Ooh. Qualitats marzipan. <laughs> Dark chocolate marzipan bar. Intense almond candy coated in chocolate. People in Northern Germany are going nuts for a certain almond candy, marzipan. While the origin of this confection made from sugar, honey, and almond meal is widely debated, many are quick to claim credit with the city of Lobeck as top contender. Hmm. Well, what do you think? Marzipan usually is kind of like bleh. These are might be a little chocolate drops you get around Christmas. Yeah. That look like drops. Mm -hmm. This looks like a something that dropped out of a back end of a dog. A dog? Yeah. I bet it tastes better than what drops out of the back end of a dog. I don't have any comparison. I can't tell you. Actually, I've had marzipan and because it has chocolate, it actually tastes better than the ones that I've had. All right. Moving on. Tom's ketchup. These look terrible. Oh God. It looks like french fries. Ketchup potato sticks. Yum. <laughs> I 
because it, it's if you love fries, you'll like this combination. I don't know, I will. Oh, did you not get one? No, I get one to tell. Oh, okay. Germany, yes, ketchup fries and currywurst. Oh, God. That does taste just like ketchup, though. I can't say it's like, oh, it that's does. A bad, that's a bad, bad chance of it coming up with a It does taste like a french fry mm. with ketchup. 1949 in Berlin's when it was made. I actually think it's pretty good. What do you think? They're not as bad as you I expected to taste any flavor. You don't taste the ketchup? You're not getting any of that? Oh, I thought it tastes just like a... Here, let's give you one that looks just darker. Like a, yeah, here. <laughs> that one's start darker. I like them. I can definitely taste that ketchup right off the bat. Mm -hmm. Not so much even the fries, but... Nope. Ooh, you want to pick one? That's a good one, by the way. Um, Knuffles? What uh, is that? Pronounce uh, that. Knuffles? It says Knuffles. I don't think the K, I think the K, Knuffles. Well, you know how the Germans are. Knuffles. Knuffles. Oh, Knuffles. Oh, oh, okay. oh, those are, those are none other than oh, Jesus. ham and cheese corn puffs. Wow. There's no such thing as too much <laughs> ham and cheese. A typical breakfast, ham with <laughs> eggs and cheese. Okay, well that's, and lunch and ham and cheese. And dinner, a platter of rolled ham, cheese, pickled like vegetables and bread. Ones. Hmm. I don't like the ham flavor. I don't know why. Hmm. It does taste like ham, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very strong. Whatever it is mm -hmm. they do in Germany, they're very accurate on the flavor. Yeah, yeah. And I like all the crunchiness. Hmm. Uh, if you like potato chips, it's a lot of like crunch, 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 crunch. All right. To you. Mine? Mm hmm. Mmm. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, what? so then you would, wait, who? I, Timmy can read it. I just read that. You so. just read that one? Yeah. Let Timmy read it. We're going to have the lemon waffles. 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 Coast waffles. Waffles. Wassel. That's my Second. name in German, Wassel. Lemon wafer bar. <laughs> Crispy, crumbly, and so lemony. So lemony. That would be good if it's like anything else you said about the yeah. flavors it, like it, ham. Damn, it should actually ham, should whatever. actually taste like uh, like Lemon. lemons in. Yeah. Oh. We could eat that with the lemon fries. Who doesn't love a squeeze of lemon on their schnitzel or a crispy kick oh, in their sauerkraut? Wow. Really? Well, now the sauerkraut I have to go with. I'm not sure about the schnitzel. I like my schnitzel a little more like savory, I guess. Yeah, not. they put a lot of lemon they said into their uh, cooking stuff. Do they? Do they? Let's see. I can't smell it. Mm. It's sweet. And oh, there is the lemon. Yeah, mm -hmm. in, inside the filling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, the cookie's like mm -hmm. nothing, but wow, mm -hmm. that's a lot of lemon actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I actually like it. It's sour, but it's sweet too, so it's. Of course, I eat lemons, lemons raw, raw anyway. <laughs> yeah, man. That's okay. That made me look over at my <laughs> lemon trees, see if anything was growing. <laughs> They're not getting very big very that's fast. That's little ones. More water, more water. <laughs> Wash that lemon away. For, for me and the lemons over there. All right, so who's who's what? Let's see, he read, now you read. Who picked? Oh, I picked, pick, so, so Tim's going to pick. pick. You pick. What is that in here? Is that a game? <laughs> was There's that something interesting in there. What he got? His says... Stracciatella, that one. Oh, right there. Wow, that's a $10 word. Stracciatella bonbons. Stracciatella bonbons. Um, you're in for a whole new world of flavor. Um, Kugeln, a type of chocolate, translates to globe. Hmm. It's made out of dirt. Yeah, it also says one of Germany's most famous chocolates, so I guess. It hails from German's oldest chocolate factory, Hallorin. Wow which opened all the way back in 1804. Oh, I guess you just... I want you guys to know, too, we're suffering to be out here because it's it's hot. Today. It's very hot. <laughs> I think it's like 95 degrees. Got it. Oh, they're pretty. Oh, very cool. The little bonbons. Those are very cute. Cool. Those are very cute. Those are very cute. Let's see. Halloween. Here's one oh, for thank you. you. Oh, and they don't have the, the powdered chocolate on the outside, which uh -huh. I'm glad. Let's see. Ah. It's a light. Well, that's different. It's a light color, almost like a... I'm not going to say peanut butter because it's too light for peanut butter. Hmm. It's filled with... Well, 
Stracatella, one of Germany's favorite flavors of gelato, cream, and chocolate flakes. Hmm. Well, if it's gelato, it shouldn't be bad. If it's gelato, it should be frozen. No. I'm going to have to go with that. Mm. But actually, I think we have had gelato with that foot, that name on the cruises. Maybe. The uh, Stracatella? Stracatella? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Frost! So that may be time for a drink. <laughs> it's drying out my so? throat. I guess so. So who gets to pick? Who picked that one? Yeah. Tim did? Are you reading? Me reading. You pick. You pick. I want to see the, yeah. what that bag is. I don't know. Yes. Is that a game? It's like a it's like a cool little drawstring bag. Like the old cowboys used to put their chalk. Oh, that must be in. this. Mule board game. Play one of Germany's oldest games. Can't agree on who gets to eat the last young. <laughs> <laughs> Compete for it. This month you get to play one of the oldest strategy games in all of Europe, Mule, also known as Mills. Germans have been playing this game since ancient times, as early as the Holy Roman Empire in the 9th century. In fact, some families even have heirlooms, game boards, passed down through the generations. Hmm. And once you played a round of, or two, you'll see why this classic game has withstood the test of time. I well, it's got it. blue, blue and uh, black. So then, how do you play it? Parts? I don't. Oh, there's an instruction thing here. We'll oh. Have to look at that somewhere down the line. <laughs> I'm guessing. Do you have a dice? No. So how do you know you got to move? I don't know. I have to look at that. Okay. Well, I guess we'll be playing this game on another video. I'm here to, I'm here to eat. I'm here to eat. <laughs> I guess we'll be playing this game on another video. Well, you want to pick something else then? No, or, no, you can go on. You forfeited that, that was your a, turn? That was a, yeah. I'll, okay. No, I didn't forfeit it. I feel like I utilized that. That well, was a cool little bag. I'm going to open, yeah, that looks really cool. I'm going to open this cool looking cookies. Oh, the giant thing. It says that mini reminds ox, me of cinnamon rolls. It says mini ox eye cookies. Fruity delicious with sweet cherry filling. Master craftsmanship since 1884. Now, wow. do, you, do you think it's going to have that ox eye taste? I hope not. That this, you know, that they're very accurate on their flavors. So. I you hope know, it can taste like cherries. If a giant, it says here, pro tip, if a giant offers you cherries, say no. And the grim tale, the violent, the valiant, valiant um, little tailor, a giant lowers the utmost branch of a cherry tree into the titular teller's hands. Supposing so he could taste the fruit. But when the giant lets go, the branch springs upright and the tailor goes flying. <laughs> Did the like, giant catch the tailor and eat him or anything? Or just fortunately, the tailor later used his wits to outsmart the giant. And fortunately for you, there are no giants standing in the way of these buttery cherry cookies. <laughs> okay, now I want to know how he outsmarted the giant. We're going to yeah. have to look mm. that up. Dang it. Okay. Mm, no, no. These are what? Cookies. Giant eyes? Sweet cherry cookie. Well, what do you call it? Mini ox, ox, ox eye. eye. Ox eye. Mini ox eye. Okay. I think they're good. Filling's good, not a lot of it. Mm -hmm. I'm not tasting any ox. No, that's a good thing. I'm tasting sweet. Cherry. Mm -hmm. okay, Why did you get that far? I'm still fighting through that. Da, da, da. <laughs> you like them? I'm sure you do. Mm. Cookies a little dry, not, but not too dry. No, but with the filling, makes with it the taste filling, good. I wish it had a little bit more filling mm -hmm. for the cookie. Because filling's really good. Yeah, it almost reminds me of your grandma's um, mince meat. Mince meat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what's the middle? Cherry? Uh, mm hmm. Or the so raisin cookies. Sweet cherry. Hmm. Oh, let's open this. That is the yum bag where they throw all sorts of little, little, little goodies in there with you. Inside the yum box, it's got assorted sour fruit candy. But look how little these things are. Oh, they're like a half a starburst. Maybe a third. And it says there's four different flavors. Of course, they don't always give you every, every flavor, but I don't know if yeah, I see you can two, tell two you. Each. So we got maracula or maracuya. Maracuya, which also means passion fruit for those oh. people that don't know that. <laughs> I don't know that. That looks like grapes. So what was that? And this one is, oh God, 
Some oh big my word. Gosh. Oh, Hannes beer. Let's see what it says here. Oh, Hannes it says, beer. if there's one thing to learn from Hansel and Gretel, is that you shouldn't judge a book for its cover or a house by its cake walls. Sure, their sparkling sugar windows might seem super awesome, but we all know the witch on the other side was. Well, not super awesome. Keep that in mind with this young. It may look plain as you unwrap it, but one shoe will reveal a succulent burst of apple, passion fruit, black currant, that's what you have, Oh. and or grapefruit. Oh, interesting. Black currant. Yep. We've had that in something else. It might be, well, during Christmas, sometimes you get like, ooh, it's like a Starbucks, so it's yeah, so chewy. Yeah. It's very good, actually. Which one you want, passion fruit or? Okay. You or remember the one? good, uh, not good and plenty, that was licorice. There was something, there was one of the off-brand mm. things that were like a fruit chew. Okay, they taste like that to me. Not like Starburst, they're something else. Jolly Ranchers. I would love a whole bag of these. Jolly Ranchers? Um, that's not what I'm no, thinking these. of, but they... They're good. Um, shoot, I don't remember. They were little, they, they were about that size, but a whole lot thicker. They were hard to unwrap and they, uh, they didn't have as much flavor. <laughs> so it makes me... What, Starburst. The, oh, Starburst, <laughs> but these are good. Now, They're not bad. read what the other one is. And you know, I can't I can't help but wonder, what would I do if I came across a house that was made out of goodness? Start and licking had, it? Had cookies on the side. <laughs> I don't know, because part of it's like disgusting. You, know, like, you ever, oh, well, that dust the down the here. Inside. Yeah, yeah, well knock a hole in it, I guess, mm -hmm. and then just reach well, in. Well yeah, from the inside, can. start licking it from the outside now, because it'll probably be like, ew, like, and I don't know, I would think bees and everything else will be stuck to it. <laughs> Oh, that would be nice. Like, oh, look, gingerbread, lick it, and there's a fly a stuck to it or whatever. Oh, my gosh. All right, to you, Timmy. Milk and honey caramels. Like this. Ooh. That's a sweet good. unification of flavor. They're huge. Like look like at, east and west look Berlin. At, look at this itty yep, bitty that's one. That's what they're talking about here. Are they really? And look October, at this big one. October 3rd, 1990. <laughs> When the two separate states were reunited, has a single country for the first time in 45 years. Oh, wow. This is why every oh, year wow. people on, over the country celebrate October 3rd has Unity Day. Huh. That reminds me of those little toffees my aunt loves so That's much. That's huge. They're huge, though. These are big. And this is this is delicious union of creamy milk, sticky honey, and an ultra soft caramel. Oh, that's good. Oh, that is good. That's good. Mm. Unification Day. Mm-hmm. That's really good. I wonder if anybody made something like this. Like, come on in. Come on across that border. Come over here, that wall, where that wall was. I used to have a piece of that wall and then lost it. Really? Yeah. I don't know where it went. Aww. It's probably out rebuilding itself right now. We don't know. <laughs> that was delicious. Okay. Mm hmm. Oh, my God. One thing left. Last one. Ooh, this is heavy. <laughs> Feels like a candy bar. Called Porta Forest Fruit. Oh, wow. Down here it says Milch Chocolat Dieu Fruit Mit Walter Fruit Stringy Cream. Whatever that means. He'll tell you. <laughs> mm -mm. It's in the pine fills your senses and you hear the faint trickle of the Danube Danu River in oh, the distance. The Danu River. It was melting. <laughs> A Take a piece of this chocolate and hold it to your nose. Uh, are you smelling the Are you smelling the plentiful wild berry bushes that you stop the landscape? You might as well be. All the rich fruits flavor in this chocolate are also found in Germany's famous black forest. Hmm. So Did you take hold, it a deep breath, hold it to your nose. Have another bite. Oh, enjoy the hike. It smells like chocolate. It smells like dark, dark chocolate. It's like it smells like cocoa hmm. powder. That's good. Is already melting. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. This is actually really good. It's I'm really fruity. Honey deal though. That's man. Oh, the honey one. Yeah. There's another one in there. <laughs> mm. Yeah, oh. that is some dark, dark chocolate. I wonder what the percentage of that is. Like four thousand percent chocolate. Mm. You know what I'm mm -mm. mm. Well, the question is, what's your favorite? I think that honey deal. So he likes the honey. What's your favorite? Lemon. He likes the lemon. I like the little thingies, like the little starvish looking thingies. There's some more of those in there too. So nice. where, or one more. One more. So what was your weirdest? What was the weirdest the thing? The weirdest? Probably those ketchup potato chips. I mean, ketchup, ketchup french fries. 
Yeah, you I would think have to. That one. Yeah, yeah that, that was actually I thought pretty good. Which one do you think was weird? Uh, the potato or the yeah the ketchup flavor the because ketchup it caught it? me off guard. Yeah. The yeah. lemon was very refreshing. That might be a close second. The Wait, one that he good. liked. Mm -hmm. And this ham thing was a little weird because I don't remember ever eating a chip that tasted like ham. No, it did remind <laughs> me a lot of ham, and I, I don't know if I'm as famous with ham as Jim it is. It tastes like smoked ham, like that. I mm. think. I don't know. It's weird. And I, that other cookie, the cherry cookie, would have been probably better than a lemon thing for me if it had more cherry. If it wasn't, if it wasn't so stingy, stingy <laughs> with the goodness. But there we are. So we have we have uh, made our way back now, back to the the Florida hot tub, back from Germany. <laughs> The gates. So that's Universal Yums. Uh, if you want to try it, you can check them out at universalyum.com. They will be more than happy to take your money and send you goodies. And uh, that's a good thing. And it was a good box. <laughs> it was a good box. It I like nothing that. really good. All right. It was pretty good. So until next time, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.